I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Mark 2, verse 17. He who came from heaven to be our example spent nearly 30 years of his life in common mechanical labor. But during this time, he was studying the word of God and the works of God and helping, teaching all whom his influence could reach. When his public ministry began, he went about healing the sick, comforting the sorrow, and preaching the gospel to the poor. This is the work of all his followers. In the heart touched by his love, there is begotten a desire to work for him. Let this desire be encouraged and rightly guided. Whether in the home, the neighborhood, or the school, the presence of the poor, the afflicted, the ignorant, or the unfortunate should be regarded not as a misfortune, but as affording precious opportunity for service. In this work, as in every other, skill is gained in the work itself. It is by training in the common duties of life and in ministry to the needy and suffering that efficiency is assured. Without this, the best meant efforts are often useless and even harmful. It is in the water, not on the land, that men learn to swim. The work of Christ was largely composed of personal interviews. He had a faithful regard for the one soul audience, and that one soul has carried to thousands the intelligence received. God takes men as they are and educates them for his service, if they will yield themselves to him. Continual devotion establishes so close a relation between Jesus and his disciple that the Christian becomes like him in mind and character. Through a connection with Christ, he will have clearer and broader views.